Hi everybody, welcome back to Vlogmas, where I'm posting a video every day in the month of, se of September, of December. Uh, I wasn't actually going to film this video. This video was one I was like, eh, is it really, is it really so many people want to see? I don't know. Uh, but if you haven't seen my most recent and last vlog of Vlogmas, the Rona has hit our house and currently I am not sick, but Jesse is and RJ was and I am like the caretaker right now and it's just been exhausting and so instead of a vlog I'm filming this and I realize this actually might be a good video to film because this planner is a six-month planner it's the moxie life vertical undated six-month planner and basically this planner covers the second half of 2022 when my kidney function declined fairly quickly between my doctor's appointment in, I think, July and in October, it declined quickly enough that now I'm starting dialysis. So seeing how little, how there's so many things that get, didn't get done in this planner might offer some perspective on how rough this last six months has been for me. So here we go. My planner flip through of the second half of the year. I do have a flip through of the first one that I did that I did back in the summer as well. So I'm not going to flip through that one again. So we open it up. So that's your bottle, your mom. This was one thing I'm glad I don't have to do again, which is recopying all of the life compass stuff into a second planner. I'm using the flagship next year with my cover on it. And because everything got neutralized on the weekly layout, I feel more comfortable doing that. This was just a little bit of a pain in the ass to set my planner up though. This was helpful. And that is something I do need to do in my planner. And I will likely do this for this half of the year, just copy these days over into my new planner when I do my January setup, I think, or maybe not even during the setup, just, you know, on its own annual goals. And I had stuck these little post-its on here for things having to do with the end of the year. This is a spread I stuck in here to cover up the vision board pages, I believe. And these are tips about the um, what to do in your garden where I live in zone 5A, I believe it is. I never referenced this again. I like having it in here, but I really, by the time I might have wanted to reference this, I was feeling so shitty that I just didn't give a shit. So good to know. So going into July... Now I, this, you'll see here that all, all year I was doing this style of monthly planner and adding it into a plan with me for the month. And I don't think I'm going to be doing that in 2023. I don't think that this is helpful. I was just recopying what I had on my Google calendar. What I'm thinking of doing this next year is using this spread to, I'll still use the celebrations collection in it, but I will use it to track my dialysis sessions. Originally, I was thinking I would do that weekly, but I think it would actually be more helpful because I will be going in for monthly visits with the multidisciplinary um, dialysis care team because I'm going to be doing home hemo. Um, having the whole month of dialysis to look at dialysis and blood pressure and like this could be my health tracking I think is what it's going to be because I'm I, I'll know more in January when they tell me what stuff they want me to show them every month but I think that that is going to be the best use of the monthly calendar although I love how this looks and then goals weekly actions and this here is going to show you basically what you're going to see throughout this planner, which was I did not do my reflections each week. And I really felt it, especially at the end of the year when I was looking back on the year. And I only somewhat checked in with my weekly actions. And it gets worse the further I get into the year, I'm pretty sure, because of how crappy I'm feeling. I do want to make making this goal setting stuff a part of my weekly routines more often next year, because this, when I was using it consistently, was really helping me. And I want to get back to that. This was the first of the spreads in this calendar. And Jess and I had our nine years wedding anniversary. Always so exciting. And Sunny at this point was already out of town for um, their summer camp. But RJ left this week for his time with his dad. Oh, I did do weekly reflections. Look at that. Oh, I love this flowery kit. Although it does kind of look a little bit like marijuana. And I'm 90% certain that this kit, well, you'll see it in an upcoming video. I'm going to be doing a entire sticker collection walkthrough to show what I have at the beginning of the year for my no buy year. Um, and I know I have more of this kit, you know, 
maybe for 420. And then also, this was the week of the Lavender Festival, and that was really awesome. Hey, look at that. More weekly reflections. I wonder how many. So we've got two so far. Maybe I'll keep a tally to see how many we actually have at the end of this year. I'm going to grab out some post-its because I just have these sitting out anyway. I'm just going to start tallying. We have two so far. <laughs> uh, okay, this was one of the Celebrations Collection... Um, one of the Celebrations Collections kit weeks. We did not wind up going to Critters of the Night, which was a bummer. We've still not been able to make it to that. But this, what I really am liking, the, the kind of colorful chaos of this. This is still more than I usually do, so I'm giving myself that one. Uh, this week, as you can see, I started it out strong and we went to the Big Eat. But as you can see, shit went downhill this week so i didn't write it in here but this was when we were supposed to go on a drive on our road trip to visit my sister in oregon but this was when my kids were already in oregon this is the week that my brother-in-law's serotonin syndrome started and he wound up going to the hospital so we wound up changing our plans did not do a road trip and instead uh, jesse stayed home with layla and i flew out there to see them notice i didn't even touch my habits that week either not even weekly actions this week. Oh wait, hello. Going into the next week. So August again. Um, as a matter of fact, I think when I set this up, this road trip situation was already put in here as opposed to what actually happened. So this is the week of the eighth and it looks like because I was gone, I didn't bother with my planner. I mean, I didn't bring it with me. So we go from the 31st to the 8th. And this, I drove back to Portland, saw my grandmother, and then flew out of Portland from Denver. So the whole week that I was in bed is gone from here. Uh, fucking work. And then that was my recovery here. So this is recovery day. Basically, I wasn't feeling very good this week after coming back from my trip. So as you can see, there were just things that didn't happen. Although I did pick up Sunny and RJ from the airport in lieu because RJ was starting school the next week. The other cool thing I like about this is I love this kit. I think this is a hand can plan kit, question mark. And I just, maybe Fern Creek stickers, I don't remember. First week of school, you can see this is going to happen a lot where I'll start off strong in the week and then it poops out as the week moves forward. This looks like one of those weeks. Even more so this week, this might have even been the week when my car wound up going, was this the week that my car wound up going into the, uh, into the shop. Yes, this was the week that my car wound up going into the shop because it wound up, I was picking RJ up from school and it wound up making a weird noise. I had just gotten the oil changed and then I took it driving, realized it was janking up and had to take it to the, uh, take it to the shop where there was a part that was fucked under warranty, thankfully. So that would be this week is when I took it into the shop, took it to Nissan, picked it up, and as you can see, if you notice that there's a week where like the to-do list go the whole week and the whole week gets filled in and the habits stay filled in for the week, that means it was a week that was not as bad as it could have been with my, how I was feeling. Moving to September, I'll also point out, I don't think I filled a single one of these monthly reflections out in the entire second half of the year. Sunny was going to California this month for SAC Anime. So I picked them up this day. They were in a car accident while they were out of town. Fucking exciting. Now this weekend, I wasn't exactly um, feeling shitty, but we had a very busy weekend. We were going to get the mulch delivered, but it wound up raining. I remember that. And we wound up going to see Hades Town that weekend. And that was a lot of fun. So I'm pretty sure the reason this all didn't get filled in was not because I was feeling sick, but because I was having a lot of fun with my family that weekend which, you know, is a great reason to not fuck with your planner. This was a week I wasn't feeling good. Definitely a week I wasn't feeling good. And it was in the middle part of the week. Although we did mulch the following weekend because we had to get that done for various reasons. And so that's good. But yeah, here's another week where the weekend kind of got lost in the, lost in the shuffle. Oh, I know why. I know why. It's be This is a Chrissy and Designs kit, by the way. I got my COVID, my fourth shot, and my flu shot at the same time. 10 out of 10, do not recommend doing that. I didn't even have that much of a, I mean, I had a little bit of a struggle with the COVID shots, and usually my arm goes dead for a couple days with the flu shot. I was not expecting how hard it was going to hit me to get both of them at the same time, obviously. <laughs> this, I believe I did, this was another Chrissy Ann Designs kit, and it just kind of all went to shit 
again by the end of the week, October. October this year, I used kits every single week from A Little Spark, my friend Keisha, because I love how bright and awesome her kits are. And like this one, dude, this is a like horror carnival kit. And instead of funnel cake, it's brains. Like, hell yeah. And so I just loved how these turned out. I also know that this is really when I started to feel shitty. I remember October was when shit really started to go downhill. Like I really started to feel awful on the regular. So seeing days like this just... It doesn't surprise me. This is also the week that I bought tickets to go see our Muse concert in April, I think, question mark. Again, you can see here another weekend of just not feeling great. This was most of this week. I just sort of dropped it, but this was that Spooky Gardens kit and I just love it. I was trying to mix it up a little bit because my sticker bump was starting to get really hefty and it's something I'm a little worried about this next year, but because I'm not buying any new stickers, I should be able to use up more stickers and maybe not have the same kind of general setup. I can mix it up a little bit. I remember Sunny did not wind up getting to their hair appointment either because they weren't feeling good either. It was just sort of like a, both of us were not feeling good all weekend. And then this was the week before Halloween. I remember I was vlogging this day because that was the day I went to my doctor's office in the morning and then went to the doctor's office in the afternoon. And this was the day that I figured out I was, I found out I was going to be doing dialysis. And as you can see, I walked away from my planner that week or that day because it was just... It was a lot. It was a lot to kind of take in. Although this kit for Halloween with her clever kit with the different like versions of horror movie icons. Oh my God. So amazing. So this week originally was going to be for the sugary gal shop and I was going to fly out of town for it. I did not wind up flying out of town because of dialysis. So instead I had my appointment at the diet, my first, my first, um, dialysis consult at the home dialysis clinic on Friday and I wound up doing my workshop with the Sugary Gal Shop virtually. So if you were there, that was awesome. It was a lot of fun and I wish I could have been there. But yeah, so it was the first, you could see here, it's like a tale of two weeks, right? This is when I was trying to get shit done. This is when like I just went at the bottom with my health. And then this following week, we were traveling to Washington State to go to my both my grandmother's memorial service, which was on Sunday and our family Thanksgiving, which was on Saturday. And that was a lot of fun. Plus, that was also the week I voted. I mean, it was election day for everybody. So everybody, if you voted, that was the week. I mean, unless you did early voting, but I have it on here as vote. So, and I had a headache that day. Good times. This is when we got back from that same trip. And I remember I very specific, I slept all day, took a nap instead. I was a fucking mess when we got back. I was just so exhausted. We left so early that morning and I just could not handle it. So I basically slept all day. My next of dialysis evaluation was that following week. And they were like, okay. And then as you can see here, I basically was not doing well for the majority of the weekend. So I was kind of canceling things. Although we did go on our dinner date for our dating anniversary and we I had x-rays done that week as well plus I'm pretty sure RJ had a late start because of the um the cold weather then this was official Thanksgiving week in the U.S. and as per usual on a holiday weekend I didn't fucking touch my planner at the end of the week but we did go to the same Brazilian steakhouse for RJ for Thanksgiving for all of us and I am very glad that I did not get gout and I'm very proud of myself for that I believe this was also the week I decided to try highlighting everything that was goal related on my calendar. And while I didn't really keep up with that, I think that might be something I reintroduce in the new year. Moving to December, another Chrissy Ann Designs kit and another trying to mix things up and how I did it. And this week I was, I came into the week doing Vlogmas, thinking to myself, I am going to be on it this December. And I got hella shit done, baked cookies. Did I bake cookies this weekend? I don't remember. But I did set up the bar cart, got some furniture stuff moved around. I remember that's what I did. And I just, it feels like it was a productive week, despite the fact that I was feeling shitty. Then And then this week was the celebrations collection week. And I did make cookies this weekend. That was, that's the weekend I wound up making cookies. We went to the Denver Zoo Lights. That was a lot of fun. And I just love how this one turned out with all of these Steves and the rainbowness of it and everything else like this. Again, it was another week where I just you can see purely these last few weeks in the planner where they were just filled out all the way through. I was pushing through how shitty I was feeling. And you can watch the vlogs to see how shitty I was feeling. This was another um, celebrations collection week. And again, I wasn't feeling great 
but with some of the things that I canceled in here, Sunny wound up not going to their cookie workshop because they were sick. Not with anything like just feeling shitty with their own person. They have a bunch of like health problems, not COVID. Although this was the week I think RJ brought COVID home. This is also the week I had my maintenance appointment at the transplant center. And then finally, the week that we're currently in, the week with the Rona. And we're going to be, I'm just going to stick it in here right now. We're not going to the Botanic Gardens because even if, even if, even if none of us besides Jesse are sick, even the three of us won't go because aside from the fact that we could potentially still carry it, even if we haven't been testing positive, even though it's going to be outside and all of that, the weather is supposed to be really like um, cold in a way it hasn't been since the 90s. And so I just don't want to risk going out there at night with the COVID being a major piece of our uh, life right now. So I'm going to just stick that sticker right there. So this is where we're at right now. And I imagine my planner is going to continue to look like this because I am goddamn exhausted. This will be the last week in this planner, though, because uh, my next week I will be filming a plan with me this week. Again, something I wasn't planning on doing, but uh, with the canceling the rest of the vlogs, it just makes sense. Um, that's going to be the first week in my new planner. So we're going to work on that. But anyway, um, so this is how it turned out. Notice I put those two and basically a half, not even a half, um, little hashtags on hashes on here for doing the uh doing the the reflections let's see if we can beat that in 2023 <laughs> more than two in a six month period more than three in a six month period that would be nice and then i guess we should take a second in the back here i did do the assessment for quarter one but not for quarter two because i did that in the um or not quarter two it should have been quarter four i did that in the reflections book i didn't use this future plans or the notes pages although with all of the health stuff and dialysis this year i imagine i will be using the notes pages in my planner which i know i don't think there are as many in the flagship and then all that's left in the back is a whole bunch of stickers so that was my planner flip through i hope that that was interesting to you for me it was interesting to look back on it because i already can identify looking at this some things i don't want to do this next year for one, I want to mix up my style each week so that I don't have such a devastatingly thick sticker bump, especially since this is only six months and it was getting pretty heinous and now I'm going to be in a 12 month planner next year. And for those of you who don't know what the sticker bump is, because I have had some questions about that, it's when you keep putting stickers down in the same spot so it overly thickens spots in your planner and you can feel a bump. It makes it kind of annoying to write. So there's a sticker bump for one. For two, I want to mix it up because I'm going to be doing I'm going to be trying to use up stickers. And so I really want to play with my style. And for three, functionally, I have an idea of what I want to do with my months. I may wind up using notes pages more. And I think I want to bring that highlighting goals and really checking in on my goals every single day to the new year. So we'll see how that goes. Stay tuned for all of those things. In the meantime, let me know in the comments, what do you do with a planner when you're done with it? Whether you fill it out for the whole year, the whole six months, or you only use it a little bit. What do you do with all your old planners? I usually keep them. I have most of them in a bin in my closet. I usually keep out the most recent one for like most recent, like going back and seeing stuff that happened. But generally speaking, the rest of them, I keep them, but they're put away. What do you do with yours? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, peace.